The relationship between the Oklahoma Department of Corrections and the GEO Group, a private organization that operates the Lawton Correctional Facility, has been on the forefront of our news coverage. 7 News investigative reporter Seth Marsicano and digital content producer Cole Bumbalo are in tap where the State Board of Corrections meeting took place to make sure we all have the information. Seth, Cole. Tara, if you haven't heard it, GEO's contract has been extended for another 12 months while staff at the Oklahoma Department of Corrections slowly takes over. At the end of this 12-month period, though, however, it is expected that privately operated prisons will be a thing of the past. We spoke with inmate advocate Emily Barnes on what she had to say about the decision, and here's a quick clip of that. I'm very pleased with it. We need to get rid of the private prisons here in Oklahoma. Um, the prison industrial complex is just... It's too much, it's too much on the inmates, it's too much on family members, the prices are more money. Um, I support getting rid of the private prisons 100%. With no specifics, ODOC officials say that the move will save the state $1.7 million. Now, of course, we've been following this story with many stories coming out, including different situations involving inmates, family members, pending litigation, and more. You can go to our website at kswo.com to check out all the information that we have so far and get yourself up to date. You can also head over to our Facebook page and find any story with Geo and jump in the comment section and keep the discussion going. For 7 News, I'm Cole Brumbelow. And I'm Seth Marsicano.